was amazing. Last night was cold, but I got up very early and I saw the sunrise. So that was the best moment of the day. Now I came and started packing. It was almost finished anyway, but last minute preparation, obviously checking everything that um, in place. Well, I have seven days of food that would go inside the pack. Then my cooking stove will go into the pack. I'm going to have two t-shirts, two socks that are going to go into the bag. And apart from that, my walking sticks and all my medical kits, everything will be in front of me just in case if I need to take any painkillers, anything on the sun cream, the wet towels, tissues, they're all within accessible um, locations. So once I start during the day, I do not have to go back to um, you know, take off my pack. Everything will be in um, my front pack and also my side packs. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Very nice. She didn't leave me any notes and all that. Yeah, you have that. Look at that. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> uh, well, I have a small um, heart-shaped um, box uh, that my daughter Sahara gave me to bring it. So I'm going to keep my uh, um, vitamin tablets in there to give me energy. Before I left UK, it was around seven kilos, but I think it's about seven and a half kilos now. Uh, I think it's reasonable um, so far. Not good. What's going on anyway? Ten kilos. Heavy? Too heavy. When I scaled it at home, it was seven kilos without water. So I thought to myself, yeah, I'm within the range. I don't know where that three kilos came from. I need to, I need to figure that out. I think I'll eat everything tomorrow. <laughs> All good. Still ten kilos.